Hello Malcolm Fish here with another BMS video. This video I'm going to look at a piece of software I've recently found. It's called Falcon BMS Control. And it's by far for me the best uh, MFD extractor that I've come across in terms of its latency, response, connectivity and reliability. It looks like it's been released in January of this year and uh, it's by a guy called Kung Fu. It's free and it's uh, at the moment anyway it's free and it's got one uh, version for iOS and a version for Android. And I'm going to demonstrate uh, how it works here. You can see I've got two. This is not what I normally do. I normally have a, an ICP pad used on this side but I just want to demonstrate because um, you can actually use it from two separate tablets because it's got an ICP and it's an MFD. Now I just use it as an MFD extractor. So I've got the game uh, running. I don't not in the 3D world yet, and I'm I don't have the uh, client software for any of these pieces of software. You've got to have a server side a bit of software and a client side on your tablet or tablets, and you've also got to have obviously a Falcon BMS. So the three things, and the one thing I found about this is no matter which um, which of these uh, uh, you start first, it still seems to connect after they're all, all three are up and running. And that's really good because sometimes it will crash due to connectivity or various reasons. The server may crash and you don't get any updates. And it's very simply a matter then of um, getting, I use the Windows page and I have a shortcut on my startup, Windows startup page. It's, you know, just get back to the startup page and restart the server and it reconnects every time without difficulty. So with that in mind, let's look at how to start it up. I'm going to start it up on um, both tablets here. And we can see uh, both of them are saying it's looking for a uh, server. And you can see I've got one in landscape and the other in um, in portrait mode. And once you swap them over, it works upside down, it works on sideways or whatever. It readjusts. It's really very good. And looking at the number of iterations of the software, I think there's uh, uh, three or four iterations of the software. He's really got it right in a very short space of time. So I'm guessing this guy is, he seems to be a very adept coder. And I just hope he continues to support this application. I'm going to start the server now on my computer side. Yeah, it's a small um, .exe file. Doesn't ha doesn't care where it is. And the console runs. And you can see that the server is running because the console is open. And both of these are livened up. Now I'm going to leave this one on the ICP side. And I'm going to switch this one onto the MFD. And now I'm going to go into our game and go into the 3D world. And I'm going to go into autopilot mode and just make an adjustment. So we can see that the MFDs have livened up and our DED data is also alive. Now, important thing to look at here is look at the way the um, look at the way the cursor on the FCR is scrolling. You can see how smooth it is. So that gives an indication of the response time of this. So it's extremely, um, uh, it's, it's, it's real time with, um, with the game. And it's hardly noticeable the difference in response time there. So there's no or very little latency. So I'm going to start using it now on the right hand side here. I'm going to change to HSD page. I'm going to change the mode there and I'm going to change the range. I'm going to push the steer point to steer 7. And I'm going to adjust my heading bug. As I'm not in autopilot mode, I'm going to head towards the target area. On the left hand side here, uh, there's very little I need to be doing here, but if I want to change the comms to COM2 for instance, it's as simple as that. On the right hand side we're going to live in our TGP, click in out of standby, and we're going to change our ripple rate from not to 1, and back to TGP page. On the left hand side we're going to go into DED, so our HSD, and we're going to adjust our offset a little bit more. Now we're a little bit far out from the target. I'm using the LGB mission, so uh, there's weather here and we're at Angel 17. So um, we're going to have to wait until, until we, until we um, get through the weather. And I want to just demonstrate uh, on TGP the quality of the image here, because I'm using a 10-inch tablet for this, and I find that's the sweet spot, because the image is large enough 
for me to be able to see as much detail as I'd want and not have to zoom into um, into the screen. So now the image is coming into focus and I'm going to change the TV mode and we can see I've got a slew you can see the detail and how quickly the it's slowing now I'm seeing no latency in the slowing of that to zoom in on the target which is really important. Now I had an older tablet and I tried this and I did find some latency so you, I'm, I'm guessing the speed of your processor on your tablet is probably going to be important. So we can see we're trying to lock into a target there. Again the weather's gone away again. So there's very little else I need to demonstrate. Uh, just Let's just get rid of this uh, offset. There's very little else I and we see we're focusing on the crane. There's very little else I want to talk about here. Um, as I say, the two the two important features for me are the latency and the consistency of connection. And um, like I said, you can have you can have both. You can see how if it's in landscape mode, it'll stack the MFDs on top of one another. I'm not sure whether that will suit anybody, but there may be just some circumstances where it might work for people if you don't have space and you're you're trying to have two small tablets side by side. So I hope you found this video useful. And um, if you do have some tablets lying around and you don't have any, uh, any, any, you're not using anything for your MFDs or ICPs, I'd certainly suggest giving this a try. Like as you can see, it can be used. One screen can be used without the other one. You, if you if you're prepared to swap over from MFD mode to ICP mode, a single screen will do it. I don't I don't use it that way. I actually use it with a, a small ICP device here. So I hope you found this uh, useful and uh, feel free to comment. Uh, like, dislike, or subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching, and until the next time, this is Fish Out.